Hello, this is Brother Andrew with eLearning Brothers. I'd like to talk about a new feature that's in the Captivate 8 release that just came out. So there's a new feature called Geolocation. And what this does is it gives us developers the opportunity to build content that's unique and different for people based on their different locations. So for example, let's say you're building a, an international sales course. However, you want to train users in different countries you want to train them on a different process or a different way of doing things. Well, you can now do that in Captivate 8. So with geolocation, it actually, your content, your course actually recognizes the geolocation or the longitude and latitude of your users and then will obey whatever you told it to do. So you might have said, hey, let's put up different audio, let's send them to a different page, whatever it is. So let's take a look at an example. This is a sample course that we built for Captivate and let me show you what it does based on geolocation. So for example, let me come down here to slide number two and open up the timeline. And what we've done is we've built these headers, which were just smart shapes, so the purple up here. We've built out different headers that have audio attached to them. So we have two different headers. We have a purple one, and then we have a blue one. So one is for London Heathrow Airport, and one is for JFK. So whenever someone's kind of in the European area, I wanted them to hear different audio than if they're in the US in a US location. So on the header here, we have audio attached to this smart shape. Let me click on properties here and show you. Alright, we go over here to options. Alright, so you can see right here we have this earthquake audio there. And then on the JFK banner we have different audio. And what we've done is come up here to the first slide. We also have you know two different icons here. We've hidden those in the beginning. So what this course will do is locate the user, their longitude and latitude. It will show different icons. And then down here, when we start getting into the meat of the course, it will show and hide different headers that we have that has our audio attached to it. All right, let's quickly look at how that was done. So if we go up here to Project, Advanced Actions. Let me grab the advanced action that we used. It was called Determine Geolocation. There's this variable right there. So the CP info geolocation. And basically when that's equal to a variable that we created, let me look, show you that variable really fast here. Let's go down to UK location. Right there, we just created a longitude and latitude and then we gave it a meter radius. So we said, hey, within a certain radius of this longitude and latitude, that's our variable. We said, when it's equal to that, here's what I want you to do. And we just said, hey, you know what, show these different headers. And again, it has the audio attached to that. If we're not in the UK location or else, then show the other banners. All right, so that's just a quick overview of how geolocation works. Uh, we'll have another video out here later that shows exactly how to do this and gets into all the details and shows you how to build this. But this really gives international courses just the ability to go in and and really personalize it to a certain location or a certain country. You know, get different voices and narration in there, show different images of people, and show unique content. All right, thanks for listening.